The past 12 months have been pretty chaotic for Rupert Murdoch, and it goes beyond this high-stakes case. Vanity Fair's Gabriel Sherman has the behind-the-scenes reporting on the billionaire's media mogul's health problems, his divorce, a broken engagement, and a real-life succession battle among his kids. There's even signs that a hit HBO show has been getting under his skin. Dad's gone. We have to trust each other. And what about me? Go on, lie to me. I got a lot of options. Well, Sherman uh, has been struck by how diminished Murdoch's own influence has been after the 2020 election, writing, Rupert called Trump before Biden's inauguration to tell him to accept defeat graciously, the source said. Trump refused. Trump threatened to start his own channel and put Fox out of business. The source said Murdoch seemed trapped by the people he radicalized. Gabriel Sherman joins us now. He's a special correspondent at Vanity Fair. And you can read the article on VanityFair.com and Vanity Fair's May issue, which hits newsstands on May 2nd. Good morning to you. We're so happy that you're here. So this has been going on for uh, quite some time. It's more than just the Dominion case. So what gives here as it relates to Rupert Murdoch? Does, does this inform you as to uh, what may happen with, with this case? Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, I, um, I, without question, I think the fact that they're in this $1.6 billion lawsuit is a result of Rupert Murdoch's diminished leadership and the fact that there really has been this vacuum at the top of the company. And uh, it allowed all these Dominion falsehoods and these lies to get onto the air of Fox because they put ratings above all else. And there was really no uh, adult in the room to say that, you know, we can get the ratings now, but there'll be long-term consequences later. Yeah. You quote uh, Murdoch as uh, later testifying, he told Jared Kushner, of course, a former president's son-in-law, well, the numbers are the numbers when Trump was so mad about the Arizona mm -hmm. call. I do think a diminished yeah. Murdoch is such a fascinating part of your reporting, Gabe, that many people certainly don't see that he doesn't want people to see. But you, you open your piece yeah. saying, Murdoch is trying to prove one last act is in him. But his erratic performance, which has thrown his personal life and his media empire into disarray, has left even those in his orbit wondering if he has lost the plot. I wonder what your answer is to that question now that you've reported this out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I think um, sort of sadly, I, the, the quote that quote you just read answers the question. You know, Rupert Murdoch just turned 92. Um, and for so long, he's sort of kept up this myth in the media that he's this all powerful mogul. And what I learned after, you know, months of reporting is that, you know, behind the scenes, he is really, you know, as his age would suggest, a very old man. And uh, there's this joke inside the Murdoch family that, uh, you know, 40 might be the new 30, but uh, 80 is 80. Yeah. And I think what that means is that he, he is, um, his health has been failing for a long time. And I think now we're just catching up to the fact that he's a shell of what he used to be. Yeah, except I don't, but Warren Buffett's also 92, and people are still very keenly listening to what he says and following yeah, his my lead. So, Clive, who's 90, <laughs> Clive Davis is yeah, still very There's keen. even more to, than age. It's well, so fascinating. But I would point out, guys, yeah. that Warren, Warren Buffett is often, you know, he's out giving interviews. You know, we really don't yeah. see Rupert Murdoch in public except we'll, you know, perhaps at this Dominion trial. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit more about the Dominion trial? Because you address these revelations from the court filings um, that the damage is done. Yeah. And you write, uh, in their own words, Fox hosts have been exposed as propagandists. If we lose this suit, it's effing bad, a senior mm -hmm. Fox staffer told me. And you wrote the book uh, mm -hmm. on Fox. This is in 2014, the loudest voice in the room that, that you wrote. What mm -hmm. else are you hearing from inside insiders there? Yeah, no, I think this is really an existential crisis for the network, uh, regardless of the financial impact. Um, you know, reputationally, they've been exposed. The emails that Dominion has um, uh, obtained in their discovery process, you know, as a reporter who's covered this world, I dreamed of getting that kind of inside look and that access to Fox News. And because of the, the court order, Dominion was able to get access to Fox's internal communications. And it really was as bad as you might imagine. They were, you know, lying to their audience in private. They said Trump was crazy. And then on the air for 24 hours a day, they would say he's mm -hmm. the greatest thing ever. So mm -hmm. I think that to me is one of the lasting impacts of this trial, regardless of the outcome. Yeah. And even all those questioning about COVID and vaccine, et cetera, during COVID, it was you reveal Murdoch was always following the science and always being extra careful. 
you know, uh, during COVID. Yeah, I mean, his 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 then <clears throat> his then wife, Jerry Hall, required everyone to test before seeing him, wear yep. masks. Um, excuse me. Happens to us all the so, time. So yeah, I mean, I think the irony, the fact that they were, I think the fact that they were really just disrespecting their audience yeah. and saying one thing while doing another. Uh, I think will be, again, just the lasting impact of this era. I just want to end on this, the sadness. Wasn't that striking to you that, that mm -hmm. Gabe writes, after interviewing dozens of people, I was struck by how sad all the Murdoch seem. And it made well, me yeah. think, like, for what? Can like, I, why, why do it all? And one thing, because mm -hmm. you talk about this struggle between Lachlan Murdoch and James Murdoch, and you said a senior staffer told you that James Murdoch sees destroying Fox News. This is the other brother. His politics don't go along with Rupert and, mm -hmm. and Lachlan. He sees destroying mm -hmm. Fox News is his mission in life when Murdoch is gone. Do you think that that could happen? Could James take control and, and change sort of the trajectory of, of Fox News? You know, that would depend on him winning uh, the support of his two sisters, because you need um, three out of the four uh, siblings to, to align to change the leadership. And I think there's really a shadow war going on behind the scenes um, for that. But I, to your point on the sadness, I mean, all that money, all that power, and it's yeah. destroyed a family. And yeah. again, I think there's sort of like a, a lesson for everyone there.